I ruined my life with food, um, binge eating, and lack of self-care. Um, and I'm hoping that it's not too late for me this time. There's this one major event that happens in life. It's usually something that has to do with trauma. Then the domino effect just starts falling and then they spiral out and get to where they are. Welcome back to the channel. Yay! A little bit of, you know, a clap. Their editor, which is me. But hi, how are you? I've missed you guys. If you watched the last video, you can probably see that there has been a rebrand. And it was all purposeful because I just thought, I was like, why do I want to name it NPC? I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. Today's topic, we are going to be talking about an unfortunate event, actually. I'm sure you have seen this going all around YouTube. If you haven't, then you probably know what I'm talking about with the thumbnail. But it is very unfortunate because of these are people, right? These are actually people that have never existed and will probably never exist again. Um, just like we all are, because we are all unique in our different ways. Our DNA says so. I think it's just a sad situation all in all because I believe this is something that could have been prevented. Probably not 100%, probably close to 70% prevented. But I also do not blame the victims of this situation. I called them victims earlier. The reason why I said so is because they are victims to an idea and obviously the price for leaving that way was their lives unfortunately but I want to bring this topic to talk about how cults work and basically the new age cult. I believe we're in this era where we have a new age cult. If you think about cults, you think about people like Charles Manson, you think about cults like Heaven's Gate, you start to think about cults like in the 80s. There are still cults today, but I feel like with social media, a lot of people aren't really talking about it because social media is now turning into be a new type of cult. If you guys want to see me do that video, I'll actually post it here. I'm going to be posting one docu-style video a month, so... You guys are going to be having like five videos in a month, which is nothing. But right now with the way my schedule is, bear with me, please. I forgot to say, if you do like this topic that I'm talking about, and if you just like, you know, the whole vibes here in the channel, please subscribe. That will really help me a lot. I believe these people were victims of that particular type of cult and obviously with every single cult that you see there's one thing that is prominent in those cults is that you are sacrificing something to feel belong you might look at me and be like yes i do fit into that category of the kind of people that i'm going to speak about which is obviously obese people and yes i do but i don't fit into that fat acceptance category i don't think that fat acceptance is a good thing personally I've been working on my weight loss for about two months now. Well, I've been working. I've been working on my weight loss for years, to be honest. My weight has always been fluctuating. But if you guys want to like see more of my story, you can definitely follow me on my TikTok. This is another TikTok that I'm documenting my weight loss journey and just the things that I do every day i also want to use the approach as also an obese person and kind of really explain how people get to this places in life the one thing that a lot of fat acceptance people wouldn't come out to admit i want to say it's like a falling dominoes and a falling dominoes means there's this one major event that happens in life it's usually something that has to do with trauma it's usually something that happened to them in maybe their formative years or with their family or even like the environment that they grew up in always something to do with trauma and then the domino effect just starts falling and then they spiral out and get to where they are if you you have watched my 600 pound life you can definitely see a clear example of that of people who being at that stage in their life around like 600 700 pounds it usually started from some kind of childhood trauma and then for that they went to food for comfort and 
that food became an addiction. I think a lot of people don't understand that anything can be an addiction to anybody. That is how our brains are. Escape from something. There are people that escape through video games, social media, starving themselves. And this addiction leads them to ignore every evidence of what their life is or every evidence of their bad habits in life. I use the word evidence deliberately because with the fan acceptance community, they have deliberately decided to scrub or delete every medical evidence of obesity being bad just so they can feed their addiction and just so they can get satisfaction from that. If you had somebody that was addicted to drugs, telling them you should stop taking drugs is not going to help. <laughs> You know that does nothing because addiction in itself is more of a mental struggle. That being said, I did want to take a look at the video today that we do have. And unfortunately, this was one of the last videos that this creator posted. I ruined my life with food, um, binge eating, and lack of self-care. Um, and I'm hoping that it's not too late for me this time um you know i ain't been to the store in two years maybe more now i guess um i went to the post office once and that was hard i went to urgent care and i thought my legs were gonna give out from under me um because i had to stand there the entire time after walking in you know i kept just looking back at the chair and just praying that i could just make it another second until she was done with me you know um i i can't even i couldn't even probably go check the mail right now between you know the the growth i have in my uh, fupa so not my apron but my pelvic region it's about 30 40 pounds now I think this is what she's talking about when she says apron and fupa. Honestly, I never knew that term before. I didn't know like apron was a term, and, but I knew about fupa. Fupa is like a urban term. Um, I go in January to see what it is because apparently um, there has been a big misunderstanding where my doctor thought I was having issues with my apron. But no, it is the growth below that that I have to physically move when I walk. Anytime I roll or move or anything, I have to adjust it. Um, and I can't wear my leggings or shorts anymore. <sighs> I'm out of breath constantly. Um, you know, and I wish I knew the cost of eating. I wish I knew the cost of the, the comfort at the time that I was seeking. Um, and I just want this to be a warning to other people that just need to hear the hard truth, you know, that if you, <clears throat> if you keep it up and you keep, you know, gaining and not taking care of yourself and moving around and doing what you need to do, you know, your health is going to decline, possibly, you know, it's just, this is my experience, but you know, my health declined, you know, I can, <laughs> I do what I need to do, you know, to take care of my husband and stuff still and I make things work and I can do the things that I need to do but they're very very hard um you know I had to have help trimming my toenails the other day because I felt so out of breath trying to lean over and do my toes um there's just a lot that is taken away from me and I want you to know that it's not worth it food's not worth your life and uh, I really hope that I can turn it around this time because it's, it's really scary how bad things can get. The fat acceptance community, they would usually glamorize obesity and just, you know, say that they are happy the way they are. But as a fat person, we hate it. People are dealing with body issues, people are dealing with health, different kind of things. So no matter what they try to tell you, when those cameras go off, they are one of the most miserable people 
ever unfortunately she passed also there have been other influencers that have passed due to obesity i just want to have this be a lesson not just to myself but to everyone else especially to the fat community you keep preaching body positivity however forgetting that being body positive is also taking care of, of your body taking care of not only your physical body but your mental body too going to the doctors being healthy skincare whatever it is these are all body positive actions that you should be taking to live a long fulfilling life about this issue one thing that i've noticed is that when after she passed i haven't really heard anybody say anything from the body positivity movement or for, for like the fat acceptance community you can also see that after this happened even some of the prominent figures in the fat acceptance movement are starting to lose weight brandy mallory passed away in the parking lot of a chipotle at first when she passed a lot of fat acceptance people were saying that oh you know you don't know her medical history you don't know what happened you can't just sum it up to it being obesity and all but then the autopsy came out and it was actually in fact confirmed that she passed away from complications of obesity one thing that i feel like happens is that you see these stars are passing away and then you think you know this is just like one in every millions of people but people pass away every day due to obesity just because it's not popular they're not um as popular as this um tiktok or as this influencers so because of that you don't really know what's going on these famous influencers are mostly in their 40s during their 30s their 40s then you start to see the real complications of what obesity does to you when you're in reaching your 40s because in your 20s you might be like okay you know it doesn't really affect me like that i'm healthy and, and everything like that and that's how i used to think before i used to think i don't really need to do any much much work because i'm healthy my blood test is great i don't have anything growing on me i can walk i can jump i can run but as i'm getting older i'm starting to open my eyes and see that it might be good now but in 10 years 20 years it's gonna be really really hard if i keep having the same habits that i'm having right now another thing i wanted to say was that with the fat acceptance community these are forms of escapism these are people that are trying to escape their everyday hard life and so they come on social media talk about how great life is all the money they have but one thing that you don't hear them talking about is how do you feel when you wake up every day in the morning how how do you feel when you go out with friends and you guys are just like roaming the streets and walking are you able to walk all day? How do you feel going down the stairs? How do you feel coming up? How do you feel standing for long periods of time? How does your back feel when you stand up for long periods of time? How does your, your knees feel? How does your leg feel? When you're walking, do you feel heavy? Do you feel like there's so much weight on you that you're not even able to complete simple tasks? The previous person said like she wasn't even able to cut her own toenails you know she had to get someone else to cut it for her because she just couldn't reach they don't tell you all these things instead they try to glamorize you know being fat and maybe they're making money out of it like this holiday maybe they like being controversial maybe they like being in the limelight what kind of insecurities do they have because these are real things that happen but like we all know social media is a place where you can just create a persona and people don't have to hear through the curtains and look inside whatever you post is whatever persona that you have so if you post a persona that's always happy that's always glad always doing things you deceive yourself but you also know that deep inside you're not you're unhappy you probably have health issues and health issues doesn't have to mean like going to the doctor or something like that people that are obese most of them have back pain because of that whole weight that they're carrying probably have knee pain you can't stand for long periods of time because you get tired when you wake up in the morning your body feels like it's like pushing something heavy these are things that they are probably feeling but they will deny it because it's better to live in that delusion than to accept that you actually have a problem and not only accepting that you have a problem but also working to change that problem they always bring up this excuse that oh people that that lose weight people that go on like weight watchers or people that you know do weight loss surgery 
they always gain the weight back for me personally i have contemplated weight loss surgery but i decided not to do it because i feel like weight loss surgery is just a band-aid to the issue you know you have to fix your relationship with food really work on yourself work on your psychic right get therapy if you have to fix your relationship fix your relationship with food with your family whatever it is with your friends if you're not able to fix your relationship with your with your family or friends get healthy habits you know working in the community and those are the things that i'm doing right now that i know that me doing these things are is kind of like a healthy outlet so get a healthy outlet before you go for a weight loss surgery addiction is a real thing anybody can be addicted to anything i feel like people should be very empathetic towards topics like this because it's one thing to say that you know just go exercise just go lose weight you know these are things that you can solve by yourself but people don't understand that when you are an addict of some kind of substance your brain doesn't work like every other normal person's brain and you have to go through that process of recalibrating your brain to think a certain way before you you are even able to leave that addiction you could talk about things like drugs or like alcohol these are things that are obviously toxic to our body that you don't need people can go their whole lives without touching any drugs or any alcohol and they will still be healthy human beings but this is a necessity addiction this is something that you need you need food to survive i i don't appreciate people just saying just lose weight just do that you could have lost weight or you could have done that you could have gone to the gym going to the gym is not the problem is the relationship with food and the addiction that person has to food let me know what you guys think at the bottom below also happy new year anyways y'all have a great day enjoy your day enjoy wherever you are go out in the sun if there's sun right here in canada there is none i hope you guys have a great rest of your week and i'll see you guys next week bye